Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Mark Thomas. I'm one of the members of the Echo User Advisory Group. You can find me at Mark Thomas Builder on many of the social media platforms. Today I'm going to show you the new Echo RB100W Salt Spreader. It's one of the new items for 2020. So in this video you'll see me put it to the test and I'll explain all the features and the specs of it. That way you can see if it's right for you. So let's get started. So here's a look at the deflector system. The back has a deflector which works well to keep the salt from hitting the operator. So I could flip this side down if I wanna protect it from going that way and it'll just shoot it forward and the salt that way. If I put it, that one down, it'll only shoot to the side. And if I put that one down, then it just drops it straight down. This works really well for a sidewalk. That way, if you have a lawn or landscaping on either side, it just pretty much goes straight down. Let's see how that works. Now I'm putting salt spray at the end of the driveway, so I want it to go straight down and into the driveway onto all that ice. Here's a closer look at it. You can just see where it puts the salt right where you want it, it throws it out a nice distance. Now I'm tackling another part of the driveway where I have the right deflector down, so I'm shooting the salt straight into the left. I also control the salt here on the handle with this knob. If I move it all the way forward, it shuts it off, or I can adjust the flow rate back here. So now you've seen this Echo salt spreader in action, what do you guys think about it? The thing that I really like is having these quick deflectors right here to keep the salt from going in places that you don't want to. So now we just fast forward a few months and we're in the first week of April. Probably next week or maybe in 10 days or so I'll be mowing this lawn behind me. Everything is really starting to green up here really quick. So I've had a chance to use the salt spreader all winter. I just like the way it performs. So today I'm cleaning it up so it's good to go for next winter. And then right beside me here I have the RB60. I'm going to just show you a quick comparison of the two. The salt spreader here has a 100 pound capacity with a larger hole for bigger material like putting salt through it. The broadcast spreader can hold 60 pounds. You can see the bigger tires on the salt spreader along with more deflectors on it in a stainless steel frame. The broadcast spreader works well for things like grass seed and fertilizer. The salt spreader is designed for salt, but I'm sure you could put other things like fertilizer in it as well. All right, so after using this for the first season, I have to say I really like the way that it works. It's just very stable, nice, and solid. The only thing to disclose, the only issue, is the decal right there wore off. Other than that, everything's worked really nice. So let's take a look at some of the specs. It has 13-inch pneumatic tires on it. And then the controls, those are all stainless steel as well. Includes this hopper cover right here, which is really nice, especially in the winter time. If you have this set outside for the day and it starts to snow or sleet, maybe a little bit of rain, it just keeps the inside of the salt from getting wet. And then looking down here at the gear case, that's all maintenance free. I did spray a little WD-40 around it just to keep any corrosion down. And then looking at these three deflectors right here, you can adjust the spread pattern anywhere between two foot and eight foot. It's really handy just being able to put one side down if you're next to some landscaping, like the lawn right there, you know, next to this concrete approach area. And then taking a look inside, Take the hopper cover off. It is nice, that drawstring right there, just easy to cinch it closed. So looking inside the hopper right here has a 1.5 cubic foot capacity. It also holds 100 pounds. And let's get a closer look here. You can see that spiked agitator. And you can just see how the chute plate moves right here. You can adjust it to whatever opening size you want. But if you open it up all the way, it definitely can handle any type of rock salt. So this is the chute adjustment, and sometimes when that's full of salt, I can't look in there and see if it's open or closed. So just as a reminder, I painted that red just to, for me to know that that means it's closed. So if you want to 
adjust it. You can tighten that down and right there is all the way open. And then it has a deflector built into the back which keeps the salt from going back towards the operator hitting their shoes or boots. So if you're enjoying this video review so far, please hit that like button down below and leave a comment. And I just want to say, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.